Hi, Saima. Hi, Maureen. What are you up to? Oh, I have been working on some resources to help people understand point of care early infant diagnosis. I've heard about that, but why is it important? Early infant diagnosis is so important, Saima, and we need to make sure everyone knows about it. We sometimes just call it EID. It's when we test babies for HIV so we can put those that test positive on treatment as early as possible. When infants living with HIV are not treated, the disease progresses quickly. Without treatment, up to 50% of children living with HIV die before their second birthday. That is shocking. Yes. Untreated infants are particularly vulnerable to HIV transmission in the first three months of their life. So to have the best chance of survival, they need to be tested and started on treatment as soon as possible after infection occurs. So what exactly is POCEID? POCEID stands for Point of Care Early Infant Diagnosis. It is a test done at the health facility using a simple machine that looks like this. A blood sample is taken from the baby, put in the machine, and the test results are usually returned to the parent or caregiver on the same day. That's great. I didn't realize it could be that fast. So what are the other resources you've been making? The global network of people living with HIV have been working together with UNICEF to develop something called a strategic framework for community-based organizations. It explains the benefits of point-of-care early infant diagnosis and shows how community-based organizations can help more people access quality infant HIV testing. So what is the framework for? The framework provides a step-by-step -step guide on how organizations can develop an action plan for early infant diagnosis to help their communities understand it better and increase the number of people using POC EID. In the framework, there are seven steps. Step one, define your goal. This should describe what you are hoping to achieve through this work. Step two, assess the situation. This is about finding out about HIV testing for babies in your country. Step three, consider your capacity. This is deciding on the resources you will need. This could involve staff or volunteers or fundraising for specific work. Step four, choose your audience. This is about deciding where you can have the most impact and then choosing who to target with your messages. Step five, identifying specific objectives. These are short-term outcomes that you hope to achieve that will bring you nearer to your overall long-term goal. Step six, create an action plan. This includes the specific activities you are going to carry out. Step seven, implement, monitor, and evaluate. This is about continuously keeping track of the activities that you have completed to make sure that you are sticking to your plan. That sounds really practical and it looks so user-friendly. Yes, it is. And we have also created a resource pack to support this framework. What's in the resource pack? There are lots of different things. We have an advocate's fact sheet, which is designed to encourage people to take their babies for HIV testing. There is also a tool for caregivers, which answers the questions people often ask about HIV testing for babies, which may encourage them to take their children for a test. There is a job aid, which is designed for anyone who regularly talks to, meets with, and supports communities affected by HIV. It explains how new technology makes it possible to produce test results more quickly even diagnosing babies in the first few weeks of life. This is amazing, so many resources. So where can I find all these things? They're all available on the GNP Plus website. You need to tell everyone you know about the resources, Saima, and if people want to find out more, they can get in touch with GNP Plus at infognp at gnpplus.net. Awesome.